Alright, so what is up guys? My name is Wardog3, and man, it has been a while since I have uh, said that, hasn't it? Uh, basically, booting up a game of uh, Ace Combat 4 here. Uh, my favorite Ace Combat ever made. Gonna play this over um, the commentary that I'm about to make. Um, I have not played Ace Combat in uh, Ace Combat 4 in quite a long time, so I probably shouldn't play on Ace, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I mean, I've obviously completed every mission on Ace, uh, except these couple. <laughs> Maybe not as much as I thought, but um, let's look for a nice long one here. Uh, Whiskey Corridor, this should be good. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, hi, I know it's been uh, quite a while, uh, let me first, let's pick a plane here. Ooh, F-117. I think that would be a nice plane to pick. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the uh, the standard black here. Mm. Cluster bombs are good, but they don't, they're not quite as good as I remember them to be, so we'll just stick with a standard iron hammer. Um, so yeah, guys, it's uh, it's been quite a while since I've got behind the mic. I think it's been like over five months I know I last posted a video and like I want to say um, what is it like July that was a uh, quite a while ago but basically I haven't forgot about you guys it's just it's been a uh, it's been a busy couple of months um, and you know it, so the, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about really. Sorry, I'm literally just getting behind the microphone and talking. Like, I don't ever script any of my videos, but uh, I'm not scripting this one either. So that's why I'm a little bit uh, shaky. Also, I'm doing a live commentary, which can be a little bit more difficult sometimes to uh, commentate over uh, on occasion. So I'm trying to determine whether or not to shoot a missile at this guy. Yeah, that, good thing I only shot one. That way I only wasted one missile. Uh, <laughs> F-117 with its missile bay doors, that's funny. Because, uh, fun fact, the F-117 uh, never carried any Sidewinder missiles or uh, had a Vulcan machine gun, so... Yeah, that's alright. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, basically, it's been... Um, it's been quite a busy uh, past couple of months, and I haven't forgot about you guys, and really I feel bad... Uh, that I've been so busy, but you know, life is life is life, and it gives you a kick in the ass. And you know, sometimes you kind of just gotta, you know, not that you guys aren't important, but it's you know, life is important. Um, but I mean, I've, I'm on break right now. Um, I have a little bit more free time than I'm used to, so I decided to make. Uh, video and catch you guys up with a couple of things um, so basically haven't forgot about you guys and never will um, but I went through that long period where uh, I wasn't posting any videos for I want to say for a good seven months or so I believe it was that long um, and basically, there's a couple reasons behind that. I mean, I don't really want to get into that. Um, not only were those some busy times, those were also some hard times. I was dealing with some, yeah, particularly not great stuff. Um, but I, I hadn't posted a video um, for a while there. And, you know, I caught you guys up in, what was it, July? You know, talking about how I was retiring from Ace Combat Infinity, this and that. Um, and basically that I was going off the grid for a little bit, which I did. Um, but now that I've kind of found myself a little bit more free time, I can kind of catch you guys up here. So, as you guys probably have heard, Ace Combat Infinity, the servers are shutting down. Yes, I'm aware of all that. So, the Ace Combat Infinity walkthroughs, uh, those were one thing that I never uh, did so I basically taped uh, all of those I guess missions. Ace Combat Infinity's uh, campaign isn't really great but I figured I'd do it anyway um, basically it's only eight missions so I've already have those all taped and ready to upload so you guys will be getting a couple of those tomorrow 
Um, I believe they should be coming in the next couple of days. I know you guys will be getting some tomorrow for those of you who haven't seen the Ace Combat uh, campaign, Ace Combat Infinity campaign. I mean, it's all right, nothing special, but I figured, you know, since I have walkthroughs of all the different Ace Combats, you know, um, I figure I might as well include this one before Ace Combat Infinity. The server shut down and I can't, um, can't access it anymore. So I basically decided to do that, and the servers will be shutting down, I believe it's March. March something. And who is shooting at me here? Alright, Tornado, so we're not going to bother with him. Um, but they'll be shutting down around March. Um, basically taped out the rest of the campaign, all the campaign missions, all the uploading those. You guys will get to be seeing those in a couple of days. And then basically what's going to be happening is... Um, I'm going to be going off the grid uh, a little bit again because uh, things will start getting back to normal. I won't be having all this free time. So um, I'll be going off the grid a little bit again. But as you know, and I mean it's still 2017, um, but as you know, the new Ace Combat is coming out in 2018. And uh, hopefully that'll be something that uh, we can look forward to because... I was thinking about shutting down the channel um, back in that period where I hadn't uploaded for seven months. Like I said, I was dealing with some uh, tougher things, you know, life. I was, you know, kind of moving on to a, a... Man, that launcher just wouldn't die. Ooh, man, you thought I was going to crash right there. No, 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 I'm an ace. I'm an ace at this game. Don't you worry about that. Oh yeah, so basically, why am I using an F-117? Well, uh, when I first uh, started playing Ace Combat for the very first time, obviously this was when I was younger, um, my very first mission I actually played was uh, Whiskey Corridor. And uh, the, the plane that I picked was the F-117, and I didn't like know anything about the planes, mind you, but I just picked it because it looked really cool. So uh, basically I use the F-117, even though it's probably not the most ideal plane for this mission, uh, whenever I play this mission. So a uh, nice fun fact there, Ace Combat Trivia about War Dog 3. Um, but anyway, so, oh, by the way, did I wish you guys a, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays? I don't think I did. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I sure did. And uh, I will be posting this video before the New Year, so I hope you guys also have a very Happy New Year. Um, hope your 2017 was great hopefully 2018 will be even better for y'all um, so back to what I was talking about I was basically thinking about shutting down the channel uh, ooh man the flak guns Whew. I gotta be careful now because uh, I that wasn't the best idea to play on ace I gotta get rid of those flak guns wherever they are in fact I might want to try and return to base before I try and risk anything else Oh yeah, these AA guns are tearing me up. Cause I don't want I don't want the mission to end. You know what I mean? You know? That would be a real shame. Okay, there's one flat gun. So I gotta get rid of that. There's still more in the air. Cause those flat guns, man, those things will tear you up. All right, there we go. So we're just gonna drop bombs there. Cause I don't want to risk dying. You know that that would be unfortunate, really. This is an AA gun, isn't it? Alright, I can take one more hit from the AA gun. Yeah. Alright, so I'm probably going to return to base after this. But what's great about Ace is your health doesn't regenerate whenever you go to base. So I just remembered that. So I'm pretty much screwed for this mission. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see if I can do this out. I'm basically going to have to fly extremely careful from now on. I'm basically going to have to keep my distance from the AA guns. Damn that flat gun, man. Anyway, for the third time, are you kidding me? You're telling me the AA gun, I hit the AA gun with the unguided bomb, but of course, not the tank. So I was thinking about shutting the channel down because I was moving on, you know, Ace Combat really, I wasn't really having a whole lot of fun with it, this and that. Um, but then I said to myself, you know, like, in terms of North America, like, I am the premier one of the main uh, 
channels that covers Ace Combat in the North Americas, and I said to myself, "Well, Ace Combat 7's coming out. You know, you got that that you can look forward look uh, look forward to. You know, and that's coming out soon. And basically, I said to myself, "No, I'm not. I'm not shutting this channel down." So originally, that's why I had all my videos privated and everything. Um, and then, like, I think I restored it a little bit ago. Um, I brought them all back and I said, no, we're, we're going to continue. So let me tell you guys what my plan is. Um, so what I plan on doing is, like I said, upgrade, upload those Ace Combat Infinity uh, campaign walkthrough videos. Um, uh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't really call it a walkthrough because no one's really going to be playing after the server shut down in March of uh, 2018. But I figured I'd get those in there just because I cover all the walkthroughs. I'm thinking about redoing um, my Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0 walkthroughs because I really didn't do all that great with them. I didn't play on the hardest difficulty Ace even though I've beaten you know, all the campaigns on Ace and everything. Um, and also I didn't, I, I didn't use a great variety of aircraft which I really wish I would have. It was a lot of uh, F4 F-22 and YF-23A, and I'm thinking about maybe mixing that up a little bit more, just to make it more interesting. Uh, obviously, play on Ace, and you know, I don't need to start from the beginning. Like, most people can complete the campaign right from the beginning. It's just beating it on Ace that's the tricky part. And so I'm saying, all right, well, I'll do all those on Ace instead of doing it on, like, Hard and Expert, which I'm pretty sure I did Ace Combat 4 and 0 on Expert. And then I did Ace Combat 5 on hard. So I'm thinking about redoing that. And then Ace Combat 7, um, whenever that comes out, I mean, I, we really don't know when that's coming out. We just know it's coming out in 2018. This, uh, this channel will be your one-stop shop uh, for all of that. So at least the English version. I'm sure there's going to be other channels out there. But just know that... I am the Ace Combat Master, so whoever out there is posting Ace Combat 7 walkthroughs and who isn't a, you know, an Ace Combat focused channel, eh, you're probably not getting the best advice from them. So I will be, I believe you me, whenever I find, whenever we find out when Ace Combat 7 is coming out, I'll be, I'll be right on top of that. I'll be back in action because I've been just been waiting for a new Ace Combat game to come out, you know, with an actual campaign. You know, Ace Combat Infinity didn't really have a campaign, a multiplayer that's not as play to winny. You know, if you catch my drift, um, those kinds of things. That's what I've been waiting for. Because otherwise, Ace Combat really hasn't been that interesting. Um, you guys don't want to see me playing other games. I mean, I do play other games, uh, but you guys don't want to see that. So I'm basically just waiting for Ace Combat to, you know pull out uh, a new game, which we know we'll be getting in 2018. The question is, we don't know when we'll be getting it in 2018. So, yeah. I don't know if these targets are AA guns, which is why I'm kind of playing very passively right now, because like I said, I just remembered uh, on Ace in Ace Combat 4, whenever you go to the return line, your health doesn't actually heal. So, yeah. I mean, that's why they call it Ace, but believe you me, I will I will finish this mission. Trust me. I am dead set on doing it. I got eight minutes, because this uh, Whiskey Corridor is a nice and long mission. Uh, fortunately, the F-117, I believe, has high enough defenses. So if I was using the F-4, I don't know if it would have been able to take that. But yeah, basically I've been waiting for a new Ace Combat game, something fresh and new, you know, to make videos on. That's basically been the main problem. Also, a lack of time, but I mean, ideally, when is uh, Ace Combat um, 7 coming out in 2018? Well, we don't really know, but I want to say that it's probably going to be the summer or later. So, whether it's the summer or the fall of 2018, I should have a enough time to cover it and everything and I plan on, you know, um, doing like 
uh, first playthrough, and then obviously doing the walkthrough once I understand more aspects of the game, and all those kinds of things. Maybe a trophy guide, since I know that's probably big for PlayStation, especially since we have online games now. I know Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0 don't have trophy guides and all that. So that's basically kind of my plan as far as the, 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 the channel goes. So you guys can expect um, Ace Combat Infinity campaign uploads coming, and then I am getting too close to that AA gun. Um, you guys can expect that. And then, um, oh, wonderful, there's stealth fighters. That's nice. I see that AA gun is left. I don't want to get near that. See, this is what, this is as Chopper would say, War Dog 3 would say, this is what tactical bombing is all about. You know, where do I gotta hit for maximum effect? Also, so I don't die. I don't even know if I dropped the bomb right there. Someone's firing a missile at me. Don't tell me that's an AA gun. Okay, that's a tank. Alright, so we're good there. I basically just can't get in range of that AA gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go destroy these other targets over here so I get the S rank, and then we'll worry about the AA gun later. Um, so basically that's my plan. You'll get the Ace Combat Infinity walkthrough before the game shuts down. Uh, might throw a gameplay in here or there, but I'm not really big on the multiplayer. Like I said, I've been, I've been done with that for a long time. Just the whales and the wallet warriors and what have you, all of that. Um, so I'm, I'm at least going to try and get the campaign in, so that way when it shuts down, I'll have some campaign of the game. Then I'll go off the grid for a little bit, and then depending on where uh, Ace Combat 7 is at this juncture, which we don't, you know, we don't really know, uh, I guess we'll just play it by year, because I don't know when Ace Combat 7 is coming out in 2018. I would presume it's probably later rather than sooner. Um, but whenever it comes out, you know, I'll deal with that as we go. As far as Ace Combat 7 goes, because I know I haven't really given my thought too many thoughts about it, um, I know I probably don't sound like it, but I'm pretty damn excited for an Ace Combat game, the first, you know, real Ace Combat game that has a actual campaign, an interesting campaign, uh... Damn, I am out of unguided bombs again, so I'm probably going to have to land again. Pick up some more bombs, because I can't let the AA gun shoot me down. Um, as far as Ace Combat 7 goes, you know, I've been waiting for this. Ace Combat Infinity didn't really have a campaign, and that's what makes Ace Combat, really. Um, the multiplayer was too pay-to-win, you know, whatever, with the Wallet Warriors and the Whales. You know, it was fun going back for a little bit, but after that I was kind of like, well, you know, starting to see the flaws in the game. So we haven't really had a real Ace Combat since 6, which I haven't played because I don't own an Xbox. So really for me it's more like Ace Combat X, because Joint Assault was really not a great Ace Combat. And yes, I have played that, and yes, I could upload the campaign for that if you wanted me to, but... Not sure how many people really want to see Joint Assault, because let me tell you, it is not it is not the greatest Ace Combat game. Uh, so Ace Combat 7, you know, we know we've got Osea versus uh, Erugia, and that should be interesting, right? You have the protagonist from this game I'm playing, or the antagonist, sorry, from this game, um, Erugia, and then you have my... Uh, my favorite protagonist ever, because they have the good old War Dog Squadron from Ace Combat 5. Um, Osea, which I mean I think is is the best country uh, in the Ace Combat world, but that's just me. I mean I'm a little biased because you know War Dog and all that. Uh, but really, I feel like it's going to be good because I mean I've watched all the trailers, I watched the gameplay. You know we're getting rid of that. There's no more of that stupid dogfight mode oh, that was a bad miss right there we're getting rid of that stupid dogfight mode or cross range assault or whatever you want to call it whatever they call it I don't know why people call it two different things it's probably a regional difference based on the game I mean I don't really know 
Uh, I really haven't known much about video games in these past 12 months, I want to say. Um, man, it seems like it's just all tanks. I feel like I'm playing passively here without a reason. I wonder, can a pillbox damage you? Is that an AA gun in the middle? No, that's a SAM. Okay, well, I can dodge that. The question is, do pillboxes fire AA guns at you? I mean, I know they got guns, but I don't know if they got guns that can shoot at me. I mean, it's not an AA gun, so I wouldn't think so. In fact, I sound like an idiot right now. Because it shouldn't, ideally. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because I destroyed it. But there was... Oh, great, these F-22s have decided to come over here. So I'm just going to run away. I can dogfight an F-117. Uh, but basically, Ozia vs. Yerugia, I've watched the... the uh, is that an AA gun? No, that's a Sam. All right, we're good. I know I'm saying... I know that might sound a little weird. Like, oh, Sam, that's good. Can fire a missile, that will destroy me in one shot. But that's what I need right now. Is... Uh, no AA guns. Because one more shot from that. And, uh, yeah, I'll be... I'll be done for. So I just gotta be careful here. Hopefully there's no flak guns here. This looks like it's more like all tents and stuff. Not uh, pillboxes. We got Osea vs. Yerusha. You know, the campaign looks like it's shaping up to be an interesting story. You know, a full-on campaign. You got stuff from Arsenal Bird, the International Space Station. You know, all of that stuff. It's looking pretty exciting to me. And, you know, obviously I hear it's great with VR. I'm not going to be doing VR. Um, and by the way, I'm still going to be recording with my Elgato that I got. Like, it's going to be almost four years old at this point. Because I got it in 2014. Um, and, and it still does 1080, right? It still does 1080p. It's just I don't get the 30 frames per se or uh, 60 frames per second most people get. Um, nowadays, that's like apparently the norm. So, I'm sorry about that. You guys will just have to live with that. I mean, I hope 1080p is good enough, but you guys will just have to live with that. Uh, you know, I really don't have a whole ton of money right now. So, some people will understand what I'm talking about. Um, so, I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, this thing is definitely not broke. I mean, I love my Elgato. 1080p is still great, just not 60 frames. Um, which I will be recording the Ace Combat for, or Ace Combat 7 in, and I'm sure it'll still look great. Uh, but basically, we've locked up the S rank here, just a couple more minutes here. Your boy's gonna survive with 93% damage, almost screwed this up, this Whiskey Corridor mission up. Because, uh, yeah, I haven't, haven't played Ace Combat 4 in a while. And hopefully that's not an AA gun there. Hopefully I destroy that there. I was going to say that's a pretty weak shot. These F-22s really want me. They want to shoot me down. See, this is how much is stealth. Stealth does absolutely nothing in this game. Like, what happened to the F-117 being, uh, you know, all stealthy and all that? Okay, that, that's not a good angle. I think I might just survive this out. This has been impressive. I, haven't, I wasn't expecting to survive. Um basically because I haven't played on this game in a while. But yeah, Ace Combat 7 is looking pretty exciting. I will say this, if they don't have the F4, I'm going to be pretty pissed off, and then it's going to be a shitty game. It's going to go from a great game to a terrible game. So the Namco, you better include the F4 in there. And, uh, I mean, it's got to be the starting aircraft, because that's what the F4 is best as, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this catch-up video. The gameplay. I know it wasn't my best flying, but then again, I haven't played on Ace in a while. Um, so that's it. Like I said, I hope you guys had a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Wishing you all a very happy new year. Look forward to the Ace Combat Infinity campaign. I'll be going off the grid for a little bit. Then I will be coming back, and we will be seeing where Ace Combat 7 is at that juncture. And basically, we'll take it from there. So, peace out, guys, and uh, definitely drop a comment down if you have any questions or anything, and uh, I will answer those for you guys.